Hey guys, it's Alicia, and today I'm going to show you how to fix and troubleshoot miscellaneous errors in WordPress. While many WordPress errors can be traced back to a specific cause, some are a little more difficult to diagnose. They may have multiple possible origins or lead back to a minute detail that doesn't seem significant. Nevertheless, we want to help you fix these errors, but before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description, and remember to subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. All right, let's jump in. One of the most famous WordPress errors is the white screen of death. It causes your site to display as a blank white page to its users. This issue may also lock you out of your WordPress dashboard. Usually, it is caused by a plugin compatibility issue. The best course of action for resolving it is to find the plugin or theme that's causing the conflict and remove it. Other possible causes include syntax errors, reaching your site's memory limit, and file permissions issues. Check out our video guide to fixing the white screen of death. Your WordPress dashboard is highly important for numerous tasks, including fixing many common WordPress errors. However, sometimes the issues you're experiencing on your site can lock you out of your WordPress dashboard. There are many possible causes for this problem. If you can, try to determine whether you're locked out due to a separate problem, and then take steps to resolve the root of the issue. You can also try restoring a backup of your site or disabling a security plugin via FTP if you believe it's keeping you from your site's backend. Here are some other problems and fixes you can consider. When you see this has been disabled, disable login or security plugin. When a password doesn't work and password recovery fails, reset your password using PHP My Admin. When you've lost administrator privileges, create a new user and assign administrator privileges. When you're locked out due to too many login attempts, disable security plugin. When you see the white screen of death, troubleshoot common causes of the white screen of death. When you see error establishing database connection, fix database connection problems. Or when you see parse error syntax error, check for any recent code changes. Sometimes, WordPress management or troubleshooting will require that you access your server directly. SFTP enables you to access your files, and SSH permits a wide variety of other remote tasks. If you're attempting to use SFTP or SSH to reach your server but can't connect, you may need to delete outdated IP addresses from your known host's file. In the event that you're trying to connect to your server via SSH and you see a message that reads connection refused in your command line interface, the problem is slightly different. Instead of editing known hosts, you'll need to check a few things related to your SSH configuration. First, make sure that your server has an SSH daemon installed. You should also check your credentials and determine if the port you're using is open. The issue could also be due to your firewall settings. Check out our video guide for fixing the SSH connection refused error. Whenever you run updates on your WordPress site, it temporarily goes into maintenance mode. During this time, anyone who tries to access your site will see a message that says something like, briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance. Check back in a minute. This isn't truly an error since it's supposed to happen, but users may interpret it differently. If they contact you about it, but you're not experiencing trouble on your end, you'll want to recommend that they reload the page. If you're seeing the message while running updates on your WordPress, on the other hand, your site may have gotten stuck in maintenance mode. Closing your browser in the middle of an update or running bulk plugin updates can cause your site to get stuck in maintenance mode. In this case, you'll see the same message that users see on the front end when you run updates. Fortunately, fixing this problem is quite simple. All you have to do is access your site's files via SFTP and delete the one named maintenance. After that, you can check back with your site and all should be well again. If you've put in a lot of hard work to make updates to your site only to check the front end and see that none of them are visible, you may be feeling frustrated. The good news is that this problem is usually very simple to fix. Most often, it's the result of a caching issue. First, you can try clearing your browser cache. 
If your changes still aren't visible and you're using a caching plugin, check its documentation to learn how to clear the plugin's cache as well. If that isn't successful, you can try to fix problems with WordPress caching, try to fix problems with CDN caching, or check your user roles and capabilities. A consistent upload schedule is part of a strong content strategy. WordPress helps with this by enabling you to schedule posts for publication at specific dates and times. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work as intended, resulting in missed schedule errors. Generally speaking, the quickest solutions to this problem are either available via plugins such as Scheduled Post Trigger or WP Scheduled Posts Pro, or by editing cron jobs. Here at Kinsta, we can configure your WordPress cron jobs to run at a system level with intervals of 15 minutes. In order to help your site stay on the latest version of WordPress, you may have auto updates enabled. This can be handy for streamlining this aspect of website maintenance and keeping your site secure, but it also sometimes results in problems. Auto updates can sometimes fail, in which case your site may go down and become unavailable to users. The recommended fix is to carry out a manual update instead. Additional steps to try to fix the issues are, step one, determine whether the REST API is being blocked. Step two, re-enable the REST API by resolving the specified error. Step three, enable debugging mode to search for errors. And step four, install and activate the classic editor plugin as a temporary solution. For a variety of reasons, you may find that you need to import content into your WordPress site. This is a fairly common practice among developers and various plugins are often used for this task. Unfortunately, imports can easily result in PHP or HTTP timeouts. In order to avoid these issues, you can switch to a faster internet connection, import your files using the WPCLI, increase your PHP timeout limit. You may also need to contact your hosting provider for help resolving this issue. Your site's performance is more or less synonymous with its speed. Fast loading pages make for better UX and SEO, so it's important to routinely monitor and optimize your site's speed. Pingdom is a handy tool for testing loading times from multiple locations. After testing your site, Pingdom will give you a list of suggestions regarding how you can improve its performance. Common solutions include image compression, caching, and enabling a CDN. Make sure to check out our in-depth guide on how to speed up your WordPress site for more tips. Email marketing is a key strategy for many WordPress sites and can increase your traffic level and conversion rates. There are several plugins available that can enable you to send emails from your WordPress dashboard, conveniently bundling your email marketing platform with your site's backend. Often, if your emails aren't being sent to your subscribers, it's because of your server's configuration. Your host may have limits on the resources your site can use, which prevents emails from going out. If you suspect a server-related issue, contact your host. You may need to upgrade your plan. Alternatively, the plugin you're using could be the source of the problem. Check its support forums and documentation for common issues or contact the developer for support. Finally, emails sent from WordPress may be marked as spam. If a user contacts you about missing an email, tell them to check their junk folder just in case. For more tips, check out our How to Fix the WordPress Not Sending Emails Issue Guide. Syntax errors refer to problems with the syntax or structure of your code. This may include incorrectly used punctuation marks or other typos. In some cases, a syntax error can lock you out of your dashboard and break your site. Despite the seemingly insignificant root cause, this type of error is pretty serious. It often occurs when you paste in code snippets you found online. If you've done something like that recently, that's likely the source of your problem. To resolve it, navigate to the location of the code snippet you pasted in using FTP and correct or remove it. Sidebars can be useful for displaying key content to your users, such as your navigation menu, WordPress search function, social icons, and even disclaimers. If your sidebar looks odd because it's appearing below your content instead of next to it, you've got a problem. This is often the result of misused div tags in one or more of your theme's files. You'll need to track down the source of the issue in order to correct your code and fix it. This could also occur due to problems with your site's width, a float property error, or other issues with your WordPress theme. Your WordPress editor is pretty important. Without it, adding new content to your site would be much more difficult. 
If you've ever opened the classic editor to find that all of the buttons are missing from the toolbar and your text color is set to white, you've probably felt the distress that comes with not having access to that functionality. Often, this error is due to a plugin conflict or caching issue. If clearing your browser cache or deactivating your plugins doesn't resolve the problem, you may need to replace some of your WordPress core files. RSS feeds are an easy way to bolster your site through curation. They're especially useful for news sites and other content hubs. However, errors in your RSS feed can appear unprofessional and prevent users from using content. These errors may occur due to extra spaces or line breaks following closing PHP tags in your function's PHP file or plugins. You can track them down and remove them to eliminate this issue. Alternatively, you may also need to test for plugin and theme incompatibilities or simply disable WordPress's default RSS feeds function. If you see an error message reading, failed to open stream, this means that WordPress was unable to open a file referenced somewhere in your code. This error can be caused by a variety of issues, but the message will usually tell you what the source of the problem is. Possible responses include no such file or directory, permission denied, operation failed. The course of action needed to correct the problem will depend on which response you're seeing. It may be that there's a file missing, your permissions are set incorrectly, or WordPress is having trouble connecting to a third-party API. If users are able to register for accounts on your site, they may at times need to reset their passwords. In some cases, the default password reset email provides a link that directs users back to the login page where they'll see a message that reads, this key is invalid or has been used. Please try to reset the password again. Usually this is a caching issue. If you have a caching plugin installed on your site, make sure you've disabled caching for my account page on the plugin settings. Instances of conflicts with CAPTCHA plugins have also been reported. If clicking on the login button on your WordPress login page simply refreshes it instead of bringing you to your dashboard, there may be something wrong going on. This issue may be due to a plugin conflict, wrong WordPress addresses, or a corrupted HT access file. Unlike the login page refreshing error, this problem enables you to briefly access your WordPress dashboard, but then suddenly logs you back out. This is often due to an issue with your WordPress site's settings. If you're experiencing this error, the WordPress address and site address in your general settings probably don't match. This can include seemingly small differences, such as whether or not both URLs include www at the beginning. Changing the URLs so they match should fix the issue. If you aren't able to do this via your dashboard because WordPress keeps logging you out, you can get the job done by editing your wp-config PHP file with FTP. The most frustrating WordPress errors are those that give no indication as to what might be causing them. An error reading, are you sure you want to do this, is one such issue. Most often, this is the result of a plugin or theme conflict and can be resolved with standard troubleshooting for that situation. In the event that this doesn't work, you'll probably need to replace your wp-config PHP file via FTP. Normally, the another update is currently in progress error appears if you're trying to run a plugin or theme update while WordPress is still executing a core update. The message should automatically disappear once the first update has finished. If it doesn't, you have an error on your hands. You can resolve it in PHP My Admin by deleting the core updater.lock row from the WP options table. WordPress enables you to easily delete posts and pages from your site with the click of a button. However, various problems can lead to an error when trying to move content to the trash. This can occur because of a caching issue or a plugin conflict. It may also be due to database corruption or incorrect file permissions. Although WordPress is famous for the simple five-minute installation process, you may still run into trouble. Potential issues include the error establishing a database connection and 500 internal server errors. You may also encounter a headers already sent error message. This is likely due to unnecessary spaces or PHP tags in your code. The message should tell you where the problem is and you can resolve it by editing the relevant file. This error has become much more frequent since the launch of WordPress 5.2.
It usually appears during core, plugin, or theme updates. The cause of the site is experiencing technical difficulties error is typically either a PHP memory limit error or a plugin conflict. You can increase your site's memory in different ways. To troubleshoot a plugin conflict, try deactivating your plugins and then reactivating one by one to see which one causes the error to appear again. An unavailable site can lead to lost traffic and revenue. If you're sure that your WordPress site is down, the first step is determining if the cause is a WordPress error or if your server is experiencing trouble. Some of the most common causes of website downtime are low quality hosting, traffic overload, hacking attempt or malware, and plugin or theme related problems. Symptoms of other WordPress errors may tip you off to the underlying problem. If none are present, you can try checking your server's error logs. Here's how to do it in MyKinsta. If your server is unable to work properly or you have no idea about what's happening, you should contact your hosting provider for help. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.